from fire tornadoes to blood rain, we'll explore some of the most extraordinary weather phenomena on our planet and discover what causes them. These rare and fascinating events have intrigued scientists and the public for years, and for good reason. They offer a glimpse into the unpredictable and powerful nature of our planet, showcasing its raw beauty and potential for destruction. First up, we have fire tornadoes. These fiery whirlwinds are a rare and dangerous combination of fire and wind, causing destruction and terror wherever they touch down. One famous example of a fire tornado occurred during the 2006 Samson Flat bushfire in South Australia, where a fire tornado was observed to reach heights of over 1,000 meters. But what causes these fire-breathing beasts to form? Fire tornadoes occur when intense heat from a fire rises into the air and meets with strong winds. As the winds swirl around the heat source, a rotating column of fire is formed, creating a fire tornado. This vortex can then suck in air and fuel, intensifying the fire and creating a powerful rotating flame. It's a complex interplay of heat, air, and fuel that creates this rare and awe-inspiring natural phenomenon. These events can be extremely dangerous and cause widespread damage but they also provide valuable information to scientists about the behavior of fire and wind. For example, fire tornadoes can help researchers understand how fire spreads and how to control it during wildfires. But as mesmerizing as they may seem, fire tornadoes are incredibly dangerous. With winds reaching up to 2,000 miles per hour, they can easily spread fires, topple trees and buildings, and even cause death and destruction. Firefighters and emergency responders must approach fire tornadoes with caution, as their unpredictable movements can easily catch them off guard. From the towering infernos of California's wildfires to the raging bushfires in Australia, fire tornadoes are a reminder of the raw power of nature and the importance of understanding and respecting it. Next, we have blood rain. This phenomenon is exactly what it sounds like, rain that appears to be red or pink. One famous example of blood rain was reported in 2001 in Kerala, India, where thousands of residents reported red-colored rain that lasted for several hours. But what could cause such a bizarre event? Blood rain can be caused by the presence of red dust or red algae in the atmosphere. This material can be carried long distances by wind, and when it rains, it gives the rainwater a red color. But in some cases, it's not just red dust or algae that causes blood rain. It can also be caused by atmospheric conditions that cause the rain to pick up iron oxide particles, giving it a red hue. Blood rain has been reported throughout history, with some of the earliest recorded instances dating back to ancient Greece. But despite its long history, Blood rain remains a mystery to many, and it continues to captivate and intrigue people all over the world. It is important to note that while blood rain can be striking to behold, it is not always harmful to humans or the environment. However, in some cases, blood rain has been linked to more serious environmental issues, such as deforestation and desertification, which can lead to increased levels of red dust in the atmosphere. This type of blood rain has been documented in several parts of the world, including India, Spain, and Greece. Next, we have ball lightning. It's a sight that's both awe-inspiring and terrifying. A ball of electricity that dances and flickers in the sky, defying our understanding of the natural world. This is ball lightning a mysterious and intriguing phenomenon that has been the subject of fascination and speculation for centuries. Ball lightning is a type of lightning that appears as a glowing spherical object rather than a traditional lightning bolt. It can range in size from a small ball to several meters in diameter and can last anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. Despite its prevalence, the exact nature and cause of ball lightning remain a mystery. While ball lightning has been reported for hundreds of years, 
Scientists are still working to understand the exact mechanics behind this mysterious phenomenon. Some theories suggest that ball lightning is created when lightning strikes the ground, producing a plasma that floats in the air and continues to glow. Others believe that it's a result of electrical discharge from the storm clouds themselves. Despite the many theories and explanations, one thing is certain. Ball lightning is a truly unique and incredible phenomenon. From accounts of sailors at sea to reports from pilots in the sky, ball lightning continues to captivate and mystify people all over the world. And now, let's talk about the Blue Jets. It's a sight that's both awe-inspiring and mysterious, a brilliant blue flash that shoots up from the thunderstorm and disappears into the sky. This is a blue jet, a phenomenon that continues to captivate and mystify scientists and sky watchers alike. Blue jets are a type of lightning that shoot up from the tops of thunderstorms and into the stratosphere. They are typically blue and can extend up to several miles into the sky. Unlike traditional lightning bolts, blue jets are not thought to originate from the ground, but rather from the top of the thunderstorm itself. Blue jets are a relatively new discovery, first observed and recorded in the 1990s. Despite our increasing understanding of these flashes of blue light, their exact nature and cause remain something of a mystery. With their brilliant blue light and mysterious origin, Blue jets are a reminder of the incredible power and unpredictability of nature. And as scientists continue to study this fascinating phenomenon, we are learning more about the secrets of the sky every day. Another weather phenomenon that always leaves us in awe is giant hailstones. These massive balls of ice can cause widespread damage and even injury, with one famous example being the 2010 hailstorm in Chengdu, China where hailstones measuring up to 17 centimeters in diameter were reported. But how do they form? Giant hailstones form when strong updrafts in a thunderstorm carry raindrops up into the upper levels of the atmosphere, where they freeze. These hailstones then continue to grow as they are carried up and down by the winds within the storm, eventually growing to massive sizes. When the hailstones become too heavy for the storm's winds to support, they fall to the ground. But as fascinating as giant hailstones may be, they can also be incredibly dangerous. With winds reaching up to 100 miles per hour, they can cause significant property damage and even injury to people caught in their path. Despite their potential dangers, giant hailstones continue to captivate people all over the world with their sheer size and the incredible weather events that produce them. From the rolling plains of the Midwest to the scorching deserts of Australia, giant hailstones are a testament to the incredible power and unpredictability of nature. Some of the largest hailstones on record have weighed over 2 pounds and have been as large as a basketball. These are a few examples of the most unusual weather phenomenon on our planet, and the causes behind them are often just as strange and fascinating as the events themselves. We hope you've enjoyed this fascinating look at the strange and unusual side of the weather. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting topics.